guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be what I got for my birthday. So if you're interested what I got, then please keep watching. I've never tried anything from L'Oreal, so when I saw that Ulta had buy one get one 50% off, that's what I went for. First of all, I got this foundation, which is True Match, super blendable makeup. I've heard a lot of girls that I watch we're talking about it and oh my gosh this is like the best foundation I've ever tried it's so smooth it's velvety it just has great coverage I do not need to set it with powder it has like a powdery finish I was kind of scared about the color but it does match me perfectly this is what I'm wearing right now and I think this is like the best foundation so far I want to try two other foundations from L'Oreal as well. I do not like this 24-7 concealer that I'm using right now by Maybelline so I decided this is the chance to get another concealer, something better. So I saw this L'Oreal Visible Lift CC Eye Concealer. I got this in color Fair. It's amazing as well. I'm wearing it today and you can't even notice under your eyes. It doesn't get into your fine lines. It doesn't look cakey on you. It just looks like your skin. And you actually do not have to set it with your powder as well, but I just did. This one is amazing. If you haven't tried this, please try it. And I think this Visible Lift line is quite new as well. I needed a new eyeliner, so I went with a gel one. This one is by L'Oreal. It's the Infallible Eyeliner, I guess. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes as well today and I got it in black as black. It's amazing. It's super smooth, it's super black, it's just easy to work with. I haven't tried the brush yet though, but I'm looking forward to trying it. And then I got this Silk Me eyeliner, which I've heard a lot about this on YouTube as well. And oh my gosh, this is like the best eyeliner ever that I had. It's in the shade highlighter. I have it in my inner corners right now. Also, if you have Urban Decay 3, this is like the best highlighter pencil that will go with it. It's the beautiful pinky shade. I think it's made for Urban Decay 3 Naked Palette. It's not waterproof, but once it dries, it does not budge if you rub it or do anything to it. It just stays put. You know that uh, Too Faced has a lot of cute little eyeshadow palettes, so it was such a hard choice to pick which one I want. So I decided to stop on this one. It's Badur Eyes. I hope I spell it right. It has beautiful packaging. It looks like this on the inside. It's more like a smoky eye side. But I love all the colors. I wanted something different from Lorac palettes and Urban Decay first, Naked First palette because they have those. I don't really want to have the same eyeshadows. So I wanted something different. I was thinking about getting neutral eye, but like I said, it had kind of the same eyeshadows as Urban Decay Naked One palette, so I went with this one and I do not regret. I love all the colors. Lab Dance, Sugar Walls, and Les Vous, I do not know how to say that, are my favorite. So let me swatch a couple. They're awesome. I've been using it like the whole week since I got it. I couldn't stop and today I was like, I have to use something else beside this. I am wearing almost everything I got on my face right now, so I thought I should use some different eyeshadows, not this that time. So I've been using it non-stop. I really, really like this felt. It came in the box like this and it had this little... Uh, eyeshadow, how to do your eyeshadow guide. Next purchase was Naked Flash Palette by Urban Decay. I got it in the color streak just because I think the color of the bronzer in here is perfect for my skin type. So this is how it looks and inside it has bronzer, illuminizer and blush. probably can't really see the bronzer highlighter 
It looks super beautiful on my skin. At first I didn't really like the highlighter. It had a ton of fallout and I just couldn't blend it nice on my skin. But once I started using it, I guess I got used to it. And now I really like the way it looks on my skin. I love that I have a palette that I don't, if I have to go anywhere, I don't have to worry about getting five different things of bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. I just can use this. And I wanted something high-end. I think it's a great little choice. I love it and you can see it on my face. I'm wearing it as well. Last but not least, I got this limited edition Revenge palette by NYX. I know this came out I think like for New Year's or for Christmas last year. But I've been looking at it. It cost like $20. I did not want to get $20. So I saw this on clearance and I thought, oh my gosh, I think this is my chance, I gotta get it. Especially I do like the TV show and it was on sale, I had to get it. I will say that I'm not the big fan of NYX eyeshadows. I mean, eyeshadows and palettes are not the best. I haven't tried singles, single eyeshadows. This is how it looks inside. I will do a review on my blog so you can guys go and read about Naked Flush, Badur eyeshadows palette and this palette. Uh, let me swatch some eyeshadows for you. I love this purple. I'm not crazy about oh, these two. I'm not crazy about the grays because I do not use grays on my eyes but I love this purple shade though. I like bronze. It has different finishes. It has satin finishes and eyeshadows do have some matte finishes. Then there are some blushes as well. And the lip glosses. I did wear this lip gloss right there and I did like I will be doing two tutorials on Emily Thorne look and Victoria's Grayson look I think it's the great idea because the Halloween is coming and if you guys want to maybe look like that <laughs> it will be kind of helpful so yeah I'm really excited about doing these two videos so stay tuned on my channel it will be up sometime soon. Another thing about this palette is that you can actually take out the eyeshadows and you will only have the box and you can keep your little secret stuff in there. But I do not do that so I mean it's just cool to have something limited edition. This is the first limited edition product I have. So I am pretty excited about that. That was my uh, birthday haul. This is all I got. I really, really love all this stuff. I use it every day. I mean, it couldn't get any better. I am thinking about getting more of these eyeliners because they are amazing. Like, see, it's not, it's not moving. It doesn't go anywhere. I'm rubbing it. And it's not waterproof, like I said. Let me know if you love any of these products. If you have anything, let me know what you think about this foundation. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.